are more than 7 billion people living on this planet, and by 2050, that number could rise to more than 9 billion. How can we better use the Earth's resources? How can we ensure that everyone gets an education and decent work opportunities and can lead a healthy life? These are some of the challenges that governments will discuss when they gather this September for the upcoming 20th anniversary of the International Conference on Population and Development, which was held in Cairo in 1994. There are very few factors that will shape the future global development situation as fundamentally as population patterns and trends. At the same time, the world is an increasingly complex place to live, with governments facing quite different demographic opportunities and challenges. Looking ahead, future population growth will be mostly concentrated in Africa and Asia. These two continents will account for around 90% of the growth in the world's population between now and 2050. About a third of current global population growth is in Africa. The growing numbers of youth in this population presents Africa with the opportunity of reaping the demographic dividend. In particular, special attention needs to be focused on the needs of girls and young women. Not all regions face the same challenges as Africa or Asia. Over the next three decades, population will decrease in more than 40 countries. For some countries in Europe, this will happen within just next five years. All the people are the world's fastest growing age group and both population decline and the acceleration of population aging are important concerns for more and more governments now. These changes have prompted demand for better policies to address economic security in old age, social integration of older persons, the organization of the healthcare systems including the long-term care, and also the strengths of family support systems. International migration is another major population issue. There are more people living outside their country of birth than ever, more than 230 million people. And this number will increase even further. This trend is increasingly recognized as a positive force for social and economic development. We are also living longer and healthier lives. The increase in longevity is particularly strong in developing countries. Globally, life expectancy at birth has risen from around 65 to around 70 years since the Cairo Conference in 1994. And this is very rapid progress and something to be proud of. However, uh, large and persistent gaps remain, both within and between countries. And we still have a lot of work to do in order to meet uh, the agreed targets for life expectancy and for infant, child and maternal mortality as well. A similar story can be told about sexual and reproductive health. More than 90% of governments support family planning programs. However, there are still many women and men who want to prevent pregnancy but who lack access to modern methods of contraception. The world is also becoming more and more urbanized. More than half of the world's population now lives in urban areas, and almost all future population growth will occur in cities. Rapid growth of urban areas presents challenges to sustainable urban planning and good governance. Here at the United Nations, we are in the process of setting a new global development agenda for the period beyond 2015. This new agenda must take into account numerous demographic factors, including the impacts of population size, growth and decline, the needs of children, youth and older persons, and the reality of people's mobility both within and between countries. It is up to us. We have an opportunity to shape a better world for us all.